welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello my name is Twee please turn on your notification bell it really really helps me out if you can watch through a couple ads as well that would be great your girl is currently trying to buy a house you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying you know I am so excited to film today's video this package has been sitting down there for the last two weeks and I've been so tempted to try it but I was like no I need to wait until I have the green light to share this bad boy right here I really wanted to test this out on camera for the first time I purposely put on a full beat of makeup today I literally I'm not going nowhere so I literally put this on specifically for this video because I wanted to see if it can remove really really long wearing makeup I'm wearing Estee Lauder double wear if anyone has ever tried double wear before you guys will know how hard that is to remove I'm also wearing glitter liner lashes so I'm gonna be doing a deep dive to see if the Fenty skin will actually remove all of this heavy duty makeup so if you guys want to see my first impressions on Fenty skin then please keep watching Guys, I even came prepared with a little bowl of water. This is actually the bowl that my mom uses to soak noodles. Okay, so let's put on a little headband first because my hair is driving me nuts. I feel like I want to do a Britney and just shave off all my hair. Hashtag free Britney, you know. This little headband is from Slip, for anyone wondering. Okay, so inside of this little package, it says... NDA reminder. Oh yeah, I had to sign an NDA that I couldn't talk about this product because it was so exclusive. I could have got my ass sued if I spilled the beans a bit earlier, you know? Okay, so inside of the package, we have a cleanser. It's a daily cleanser and a makeup remover all in one. So we're really gonna put that to the test. We also have fat water. <laughs> The water's fat. It's a pore refining toner serum. And then we have the Hydra Visor. It's an invisible moisturizer with SPF. So I'm just gonna take off my lashes first. I normally just peel them off like this. I feel like this shirt makes me look like I've got some turkey neck. You know when you wear turtlenecks, it looks like you've got no neck. <laughs> a lot of brands are reaching into the skincare market. It was Huda Beauty, even Too Faced has gone over to skincare. And now Fenty Skin, okay? Everyone's trying to come for that clear complexion. So normally I would use a separate eye makeup remover, but I'm gonna try to put this to the test and see how much it can actually remove. It says to start off with wet skin. So I just got a little water bottle here. Nope. So the skin is damp. Okay, so we're gonna go in with a total cleanser. I love it when tubes have this design here where the lid doesn't come off. Ooh, this is the texture. I don't know why I expected it to be like a white cream that comes out, but it's kind of like a pink salmon-y color. It has a light kind of like candy, kind of like a vanilla-y smell to it. It lathers really well. Normally whenever you get like a tube cleanser, it's more like a white thick paste, but this kind of feels really creamy. Okay, so now I'm gonna go on the eyes. Wish me luck. Oh, okay. Going in, girl. I'm massaging. Is it coming off? Do I look crazy? Oh, first impressions, it doesn't sting my eyes. Sometimes whenever I do this in my videos, my eyes are like, ah, stinging. That's why I normally use separate eye makeup removers, but this one, I feel like I can still open my eyes. Oh my God, I literally look like the Grim Reaper. I'm really impressed that it's not stinging my eyes. I do have to say that because normally with tube cleansers, especially if any bit gets in my eye, it's like, ah, someone just come to my eye. I don't have that feeling before when you get cum in your eyes, it, it does sting. Okay, so normally I would actually use a face halo to remove my makeup, but I feel like that is cheating a little bit because face halos, you can actually use that by itself to take off makeup. So instead, I'm just going to use a white flannel. Yes, a brand new white flannel for you. I'm going to dip it in this water. Okay, so I'm going to wipe off this side first. Okay, so that's one sweep and that actually took off a lot of the makeup. Okay, let's do the other side. Oh my God, there's a lot of makeup that's coming off. I forgot what it's like to use a flannel. It's so much space rather than a little face halo, you know? Oh my God, I totally forgot to put the cleanser on my lips and now I look like Frankenstein. Okay, I'm gonna go in for a second cleanse, but first impressions, I actually feel like it took off a lot of my makeup. Sometimes I feel like with some cleansers, you have to do like even triple cleanse because I don't feel like my skin's clean, but this actually feels like it's taken off a lot of the makeup. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, so I'm just lathering it up. Mmm, it foams up so well. I think I might have even used too much cleanser. Do you know what this smells like, guys? It has a smell of, like, shampoo. If you guys have ever tried whey shampoo before, it kind of smells like that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I love the smell of whey. This doesn't feel like it's foaming. It just has a really, really good lather when you add a bit of water to it. It kind of, like, thickens up and you can hear it, like, squidge along a little bit. Cleanse your neck, girl, because you got a lot of dirt and contour down here. Grow my lips this time. Go over my eyes again. 
Quick question that I need to ask you guys. When you are taking off your makeup, do you use a like, face flannel or do you just splash your face with water? Because I feel like a lot of people, they just splash their face with water, but don't you get water all over your arms? And it's so annoying. But on the other hand, if you're washing your face like me, you'll end up with towels like this. It feels really good. It doesn't feel like it's dry. Sometimes I feel like while I'm taking off the makeup, I feel instantly like, oh, my skin feels a bit dry, but this feels really, really nice. It actually took off my eye makeup really, really well. My normal cleanser is from Ula Hendrickson, and I definitely could not put any of their cleansers near my eyes. As soon as it goes anywhere near it, I'm like, ah! It's burning! Okay guys, so my skin actually feels really, really soft. It definitely doesn't feel like I've got any more makeup on. For me, how I judge if a cleanser is really good is if it doesn't strip my skin. And normally, you would kind of feel a little bit tight and feel the rush to go grab some moisturiser. So I'm going to go see for about 5 to 10 minutes if I have that kind of like feeling where I'm itching to put on moisturiser. Okay guys, it's been about 10 minutes and I've literally just been here sat on my phone and I feel like my face is not cracking. I don't feel the urge to run put some toner on and some moisturizer some serum on which is a really really good sign but especially when something says that is meant to kind of take off makeup normally it's quite like strong and normally that kind of strips your skin but I feel good guys I feel good one tick for Fenty skin okay so next we're gonna go in with the toner but it says on here it's a pore refining toner serum so that's really really good that they incorporated a serum in here because a lot of people they always miss toning and they always miss serums so if you can get one product that has both ingredients in it for all your lazy bitches out there this could be what you need in your skincare life so at the back it says instantly refines the look of pores reduces the look of dark spots Ooh, even skin tone and fights shine without stripping the skin Skin. Use day and night on clean skin. Apply it all over the face with fingers. Oh, I don't know about fingers, girl. I'm actually going to use a cotton pad because that's how I normally use my toners. Oh, so it's actually not a lid. It has a hole. I lose lids all the time. So this is really different for a toner. The product is a bit thicker, so it doesn't come out as soon as you tilt it upside down. If you guys can see, look, there's like a little bubble there. So if you squeeze it a little bit, then... That's when the juices come flowing. It smells again like whey hair products. <laughs> it's kind of stinging around my nose a little bit. Oh, it's a bit stingy. The size of my nose is getting really red. All right, let's just keep going. <laughs> if tomorrow I wake up with no nose, I'm blaming you guys. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I blame Fenty Skin. <laughs> All right, guys, moment of truth. If there's anything on this cotton pad, I double cleanse, so there shouldn't be. There's a little light faint tint of it but i'm actually quite happy with that it's not a lot where i'd be like oh girl but it's enough where it justifies toning with a little cotton pad you know it's actually quite nice and hydrating now that it's all kind of like settled in but it did sting initially around my nose so now i use a toner let me actually do the instructions normally these kind of toners you would pat them on like this i think a little goes a long way with this product i put on quite a lot and now my face feels really really wet okay last but not least is actually this moisturizer and this is probably what i'm most excited about oh so inside it has like two bits that you put together okay so i'm guessing that maybe in the future they will sell just refills of them okay and it has spf 30 which is really really good normally moisturizers like this will only give you spf 15 use every single day no excuses apply before makeup for the ultimate canvas Ooh. okay so i'm guessing you just shove it in here oh nice and sleek i love this packaging here's the product oh it's pink oh, what's it smell like it smells really familiar. I always prefer skincare products to have no smell, just because it's a little bit less offensive. I can't go over the smell. It has a really particular smell. Not in a bad way, but it reminds me of something. First impressions, it feels quite nice. Like, thick enough where I think for dry skin, it'll give you moisture. Not thick enough where if you have oily skin, it'll make you feel greasy. Kind of smells a little bit orangey a little bit. It does leave a shine to your skin. I don't know if you guys see on camera, but I definitely feel there's like a light residue, you know. Also, I've definitely noticed that this SPF doesn't leave a white cast, which is amazing for people with deeper skin tones. No one wants to look like they've got a white ass sunscreen on their face. Okay, guys, so I literally just let this sit on my skin for about five minutes. And I also just went on to the Fenty Skin Instagram and this SPF moisturizer is $35, which I think is a really, really good price. It's for 50 mil. It's a two-in-one product. So it's a moisturizer and a sunscreen, which is amazing. Sunscreen is so important. And I'm not going to lie, guys. There are days where I'm like, oh, I don't want to put on an SPF because sometimes it peels underneath my makeup. And it does say on their Instagram that this has no peeling and no flashback. So amazing for anyone that wants to wear a moisturizer with SPF and not even wear foundation because sometimes you do get that white cast in photos if you're using flash photography. It also brightens the skin. It has niacinamide in here, which evens out 
out the skin it helps with dark spots there's hyaluronic acid in here which is always amazing that keeps your skin feeling really moisturized i actually really love the way that this moisturizer makes me look even when i'm not wearing foundation i feel like my skin looks really really glowy but not to the point where it looks oily like some spfs can make you look like also the fat water is 28 dollars for 150 ml again i think that's actually really really affordable if you look at it like a toner and a serum so you can use it on a cotton pad or use it on your hand and pat it in this does say that it's alcohol free so i don't know why it stung my ass maybe i'm just sensitive around my nostrils so this has key ingredients like cactus flower which is really really good to hydrate the skin niacinamide as well which is a form of vitamin b3 niacinamide is such a common ingredient used in asian skincare because it really really helps brighten your skin and it also evens that pigmentation and then the cleanser is 25 us dollars so the cheapest one from the whole range i feel like a lot of people they kind of like skip on maybe a good cleanser but i do think it's really, really hard to find a good cleanser that kind of takes off makeup as well as cleanses your skin so you can use this morning and night i do notice a theme with the fenty skin products is that everything is like a two-in-one product which i think is really really good because not everyone has time or the money to be buying separate products all individually okay so this is oil free non-comediogenic which is really really important for anyone with like acne prone skin first impressions guys i am really really impressed I have tried quite a lot of skincare recently and this actually looks really really good I feel like it's a really really good price point the packaging looks so beautiful clean really aesthetically pleasing and I do think a lot of people will like the fact that it's two-in-one products so if you are looking for a new skincare and you don't want to invest into too many products these three will just do it for you I'll probably say the only other thing you have to add is a separate night cream because you don't want to put this on at night time because that's SPF and at night time you probably want a different ingredient just to like hydrate the skin so i feel like maybe that might be her next look i'm gonna keep it my eyes peeled so i hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions of fenty skin i made sure that i wore a full beat heavy ass face for you guys so that you can really see these products in action my skin looks really really nice and glowy it doesn't feel heavy doesn't feel like i've got like a thick layer of oil but it does feel like it's really nice and moisturized and it has a nice glow to it so super happy with that so yeah guys that is my first impressions first review i can't wait to see what fenty skin has up their sleeves i'm sure they're going to be releasing many products after this if they can it'll be great if they can help assist out with this big ass spot here so i would love like an acne treatment let's start a conversation down below what other products do you see fenty skin launching oh oh a sheet mask a face mask a little clay mask oh that'd be so good fenty i hope you're watching this so i'm gonna leave a link down below to fenty skin you guys can read up about it they are launching on the 31st of july so let me know down below in the comment section are you gonna be picking any of these products up what other products do you think fenty is launching let's talk down below okay we can have little conspiracy theories down below and that's it for this video guys i will see you in my next one bye guys enjoy the bloopers Mwah. Oh my god, I'm a shiny bitch and I haven't even started filming yet. Hello. I'm powdering, but I'm going to take this all off now. <laughs> My hair looks like a big piece of shit. I look like the girl from the ring. Oh, I'm so ugly. Why am I so ugly? What skinty, what skinty skin? <laughs> skinty skin? Rihanna would just kick my ass right now if she saw this video. I'm really thick. Oh, 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 she's falling apart, girl. Look how fat this cherry is. She's fat. Mmm. Mm mm mm. Because it start gets it start gets an, it starts to start, 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 start. I can't see. I can't talk. Oh, that water just went in my eye. Now it's stinging. No. ASMR. Yeah. Like that clean asshole. I've definitely noticed a kind of theme with skin with skinty skin. I just said skinty skin again. What's wrong with me? Enjoy the video. Enjoy the video. Enjoy the bloopers. Mwah. Enjoy the video, you stupid bitch. Stupid. It's called fat water because it's thick. Okay. Okay, Fenty. Okay, let's do a couple pumps. Get the product flowing. Come on, bitch. It's like fucking jerking off Gwang. It takes ages to come. <laughs> oh! Hello there, Gwang. Just went in someone's eye. <laughs> How much money do you think Rihanna's making? She must be so rich. She slayed the music game. She slayed the makeup game. Now she's gonna slay the skincare game. Oh god damn! You better watch out, Jeff Bezos. I tried to think of someone really, really rich. I think Jeff Bezos is really rich, right? Is that the guy who owns Instagram? No. Is that the guy that owns Amazon? Jeff Bezos. No fucking clue. <laughs> Shows how much I know about being rich. <laughs>